use up every possible inch of runway available. I recently saw this footage for the first time and it scared the hell out of me. It's actually like four years old and it made the rounds going viral in the aviation community back then. And I wondered how could I have missed this? And then I realized it was because I had one of these around that time. So I was a little bit distracted from flying. But after things settled down in my life, I got back into it. So anyway, seeing this video actually inspired me to think about my personal minimums. Adding a margin to weather minimums is kind of an obvious one, but it's really important to think about margins with performance calculations as well. Let me get my mojo. Alrighty. So Chris Palmer from Angle of Attack was kind enough to share this footage with me so I could revive it and put a flight chop spin on it. Uh, the basic spin is, it's a high performance airplane, a turbo bonanza I believe. He's taken off from a very short runway, surrounded by trees at a high density altitude. Alright, so let's do it. Chris does an amazing job analyzing exactly what happens here, so I'm not going to get into those kind of details, but I'm going to provide links that you have to check out. For now, what I want to simply do is watch and react to it. Speed is alive. Back. Engine's in the green. Back. So clearly Chris knows he's facing a bit of a challenge as he starts this takeoff roll. But he knows his airplane, and he did his math, and he knows the numbers say it can be done, but the question is, will it be done? So after rotation here, he's committed, and you can see things aren't going as planned. That's just a little scary. Well, oh boy. Wow. Okay, things we are not doing again. So that couldn't have been any closer. Let's just back it up and check this out. Look at those treetops. I mean, the wingtips are definitely below those. So he just squeaked it through that gap. He managed to instinctually turn just slightly left there to find that one gap that he had and he made it through. And he fought the urge to pull back, which I think a lot of people would have done. And then he would have mushed into those trees for sure. So kudos for flying right on the edge, man. He got it out, but just barely. <laughs> okay, Chris. So in Chris's article where he breaks it down, you'll see a lot of Monday morning quarterbacking going on in the conversation thread. Oh, I thought we've learned our lesson. <laughs> I actually thought we were kind of screwed there for a second. So did I. So I think there's a saying that goes something like, experience is a difficult teacher because she gives the test first and the lesson afterward. And all lessons in aviation are not survivable. So the moral of the story here is just because the performance calculations say you can do it, doesn't mean you will be able to do it. I mean, you need to fly the airplane perfectly. You need ideal conditions exactly matching whatever the conditions were supposed to be in the charts. So the reality of it is most airplanes are 10 plus years old that we're flying these days. And you know, unless you're a multi thousand hour pilot, you're not gonna be flying perfectly. So the odds of you getting it done exactly as the book says are extremely low. And Chris is a very experienced pilot, and again, he does an amazing job breaking down everything that went on here, so I'm not going to get into the details, but at the end of the day, at a margin. So personally, I think I've kind of always ballparked 50%, but I'm going to officially say at this point, I'm going to add a 50% buffer to the performance numbers for my personal minimums for any takeoff calculations that I do going forward. So I'm just a private pilot doing my best to stay current and learn. I make these videos for self-analysis purposes. In this case, Chris was nice enough to share his footage. And definitely please check out Chris's links. I'm going to put them in the description as well as uh, on the screen here. I'll make some annotations that are clickable. But yeah, check out his stuff. He's got an amazing aviator cast. So for more virtual ride-along flying videos, please subscribe. I'm doing my best to put up a video about once a week. And keep on keeping your flight chops sharp. Wherever you are in the world, share your Aviation. Share Aviation. A network for pilots by pilots.